they're not that much difference in look to some sausages. Got lots of herbs in these. Sausages looking good. How will the burgers stack up? They're quite squidgy and soft. I don't know, they just smell different. They're priced differently too. Hello, gorgeous. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. This week, we're in Chigwell, Essex. We are, we are a the Fortington Fort family. family. To convince a family that it doesn't cost the earth to go green. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Dad Alex is a stonemason. I, I work, but I've got a sore knee. <laughs> and Mum Alison works in hospitality. How's he going to get down? They met 13 years ago. 13 wonderful years. You've got to jump from the top. I can't get a jump from here. I'll leave a crater in the ground. <laughs> been the best years of my life. Um. Honestly, never been happier. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, keep going. We're lucky enough to have two lovely boys. Harrison's now 11 and Arthur is seven. All right, jump. Good. A jam-packed schedule means a lot of toing and froing. I've got two school runs in the morning. Be there and back to work, and then two kids to collect, and then whatever clubs they're doing. Oh, one at one club, one at another, and then home. So, yeah, I do zip around. Yeah. The kids aren't the only ones Alison's running around after. We have a few pets. We have three ponies. Silly boy. Two dogs, two cats, fair few fish, and we have a gecko called Gary. It's like Noah's Ark, isn't it? With so much going on, being green has never been a priority. OK, tuck in. I don't see myself as an eco person. People with straw bowed houses or that grow their own food, that's what I'd class as an eco person. And stuff people that drive electric cars. And then strange people as vegans. Definitely not going vegan now. <sighs> But since the pandemic, they've been left wondering if they should live a greener lifestyle. Well, I think your eyes were opened a little bit during, like, the first lockdown. You realise what sort of impact humans are having on the planet, and you realise there's a lot less cars on the road. And the, the air seemed cleaner. Now the whole family want to help the planet, but they don't know where to start. What is a carbon footprint? How, if you bought a pack of mints, how that would actually affect the environment? I wouldn't have a clue. We just need a bit more education on it, I suppose. So, they want to adopt a different approach. Be interested to learn some new things, because it's obviously important. It's our kids' future, isn't it? It's their kids' future and their kids' future. There we go. But they have their reservations. I'm under the impression or understanding that eco does cost more money. And since the pandemic, times have been tough. I mean, we was proper strapped for cash as well, weren't we? Yeah. It was, it was pr pretty hard. You're just earning a living yeah, now. You, you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not making anything anymore. It's just about surviving. For the Fortington Knee family, cutting their carbon footprint can't cost more. Taking on this huge eco-experiment are Joe and Chris. And they're ready and waiting to surprise our unsuspecting family. Let's get this eco-journey underway. Hello! Hello. <laughs> well, I bet you weren't expecting to see us today. No, I actually really wasn't. <laughs> we hear that you want some tips from us about how to be a bit more eco-friendly. Yes, we'd love some. Yeah, obviously, normally, I look after the food. And I do the shopping, shop well. But we're coming together for this, aren't we? We are for a world-exclusive, Bavin and Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> Her name's not Stacey, but you know what I'm doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what sort of brought this on? What's, what's changed? Lockdown, really, wasn't it? Yeah. It's just sort of changed your opinion on everything, doesn't it? Everybody wants to be a bit greener. Everybody wants to reduce their negative impact on the environment, but it's just where you start. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I get quite overwhelmed. It just seems such a massive thing to do. So, look, we're no experts. I know we look like experts, <laughs> but we'd like to learn with you guys. Yeah, cool. What about you, boys? Are you up for this? Yeah. yeah. Right, OK, can we have a little rummage around your house and see if we might be able to help? Yeah, why, why not? Yeah. So when the family weren't looking, our mission to turn them green... Oh, look! ..was put into action. Ah, cleaning. That's to make your own spray. We've swapped some of their usual cleaners for homemade versions. That's cool. Well, that's a lot of lemons, isn't it? Right, what is this? It's a giant joystick. And have reduced single-use plastics. 
dishwasher tablets. Oh, they're a bit dangerous, they may look like rhubarb and custard. We've switched some of their usual products. Is this an air freshener? It looks like an egg in a bowl. For more eco-friendly alternatives. Yeah, That's not for the dishwasher. Screen. Yes, it is. Seriously, it goes in the dishwasher. Gone are some of their family favourites. What is that even? They prop the meat sausages or they're vegan. God, they smell nice, to be fair. In favour of cutting their carbon emissions. Oh, that's for your hair. Shampoo. You <laughs> wash your hair with that. That's not shampoo. It is. Read. Putting new products to the test. What? Toothpaste tablets? Oh, that's what you get in the service station. Yeah, they smell yeah. lovely. Will this test drive of an eco lifestyle? Uh, oh, no, snowy, look. Reduce their carbon footprint. Folly electric. Oh, I'm scared. Snowy. <laughs> Time to put Action Planet in motion. What are we going to name this then? Greta. I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> now to feed the hungry players. Plant based sausages. Oh, Al will be pleased. <laughs> well, we can't tell Daddy and then he'll uh, do that. Don't mention this. It's Meat Free Monday, and on the menu are vegan burgers and sausages. Hmm, they're cooking all right. Made from mushrooms, these sausages are over two pounds cheaper per pack compared to their usual meaty treat. They're not that much difference in look to some sausages. Got lots of herbs in these. Sausages looking good. How will the burgers stack up? They're quite squidgy and soft. I don't know, they just smell different. They're priced differently too. Switching to these, you'd be quids in with a saving of £2.40 for four burgers. Chips. Go use one of these. Ooh. Attempting to reduce single-use products, we've swapped their baking paper for a reusable baking mat. Well, that's cool, being re reusable. Using this mat will save around 60 metres of baking parchment a year and give them over three pounds in their pocket. Put that one in there. Now for the big test. Can we convince meat lover Alex? If you try and turn me into a vegan, then you're on your bike, you know what I mean? It's not happening. We were looking at reducing carbon footprint and plastic, and this eco-egg does both. But how did Alison find it? I'm impressed. It's clean as you like. We gave you a washing egg. That is the best thing I've ever washed my clothes with. And I can genuinely, honestly say it. Couldn't have been a worse wash. So if it can clean that, then it's going to clean anything. The egg costs $9.99 to buy and includes pellets. The refills cost $4.99, which works out at 10 pence a wash. These eggs as well last for 10 years, which is about 60 of these. So, a huge saving on the plastic. I mean, that's going to be fantastic for the environment. Plus, 100 quid in the bank. Sold on that, 100%. I'm not going back. Oh, look at this, wow! But can the shampoo bar be as successful? It was great. It really, really did lava up. It smells lovely. And it did the job, did it? It did the job. And I think his hair actually shined a little bit more than it normally does. Well, it turns out, in a year, you'd make a saving of around about £75. That is a lot. You're not going through so many plastic bottles. It's really good. It's definitely worth trying. A definite swap. Yes, definitely. Brilliant swap. Easy Eco Win. Swap your shampoo, saves on plastic and saves on money. Will the surplus veg box also be a hit? This is what we gave you. It was quite an eye-opener to see the kind of veg that would actually end up being thrown away. There was just nothing really, wrong it? with this veg. It's one pound more expensive than you're currently spending on veg. By using surplus veg, the family could also knock about a quarter of a tonne off their carbon footprint a year. Is this a swap? Possibly, but I'd rather go to a green grocery. Nice one, Alex. We're a big fan of greengrocers. <laughs> so, the electric car, how was it? I loved the electric car. I did. I didn't think I would. It was really comfortable, really quick. Easy to easy charge. Easy to charge, easy to drive. Is it practical? As a swap for my car, yeah. When we charged it, it cost us around £4, and that would literally do 100 miles. So That's incredible, isn't it? It makes sense to have something like that if you can afford it. OK, so, 
This is the car we gave you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, for the same amount that you paid for your current car, you could buy a four- or five-year-old version of this car. What? That is actually a big shock. If you switched from your car to an electric car, you could potentially be saving on insurance and road tax. Not to mention the huge saving on diesel. All of those things combined would come to an annual saving of around £2,000 a year. No way. The carbon saving is an extraordinary six tonnes a year. That's one and a half tonnes per person for this family of four. That's incredible, isn't it? It is. That is massive. Wow. That is something definitely that I will be looking out for. As the swaps keep coming... Toothbrushes. 80 pence cheaper per brush. So do the yeses. Is this a swap? Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Along with the environmental savings... If you did change your energy supplier, you would be improving your carbon footprint by two tonnes. Wow, that's, that's a lot. Not everything was a hit. Are the burgers a swap? No. No. So is this a swap? No. She just point blank refused to eat it. Can't win them all. But Alison and Alex have said yes to nearly 90% of the swaps. I'm going to go for a yes, it's a swap. This is going well, isn't it? But our last challenge was the biggest. Here's our bag of vegetables. Will self-confessed carnivore Alex be prepared to swap to Chris's veggie curry? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, yeah. That's incredible. I'm delighted. That is good. The curry was lovely. Would you like to see the saving? Thirty pounds. Wow. Wow. Is that one meal? That is versus your takeaway curry. And over the course of a year, the family could knock around half a ton off their carbon footprint. Yes, that's massive. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? Do you think incorporating a few veggie meals might be something you guys will do? We've already started. <gasps> in the week with the veg that was left over, made a vegetable lasagna. And how was that? It was really good. Lovely, wasn't it? and not a single thing got left. That's fantastic. Vegetables are cheaper than meat, so you can save yourself some money. And if you buy the right veg, it can be better for the environment. Meat Free Monday is here to stay. Alison and Alex thought going greener would be more expensive. Time to find out. If you continue to make your veggie takeaway instead of going to the shops to buy it, you're going to be saving yourself £1,500 a year. A good That's amount of money. That's a massive amount of money. <laughs> Add that to the car savings and all the other swaps, and that's a whopping total of nearly £4,000. I'm really shocked at that, actually. That's a massive amount of money. The, like, the future of the planet's more important than money, really. We've got a couple of budding environmentalists yeah. on our hands here. <laughs> but have they reduced their carbon footprint from over 14 tonnes per person? With the items you've swapped and the changes that you've made... That brings your average carbon footprint down to around 11 and a half, well under the national average. That's a lot, isn't it? That's a whopping saving of around 10 tonnes of carbon for this family of four. So that's incredible that we're saving money, plus we're saving our carbon with hardly any effort. The conception probably is that it's more expensive to be eco, where in actual fact we've just proved it isn't. Listen, I'm delighted. I think you've all been brilliant sports, you and the kids. Give each other a nice big cuddle. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'd jump in as well, but we can't. Yeah, yeah, COVID won't allow it, unfortunately. Get to you. Yeah. Well done. There's a lot of people probably don't think that eco is something that's for them because they don't know much about it and it, it all sounds a bit scientific and a little bit hard. But honestly, try it because you'll surprise yourself. I think you've got to as well. We've got to start making a change. So the little change that we can make now has got to be beneficial. <laughs>